Welcome back. We are joined by Kayla Valila and Daniel Stack from the Disabled American Veterans Department of Massachusetts. Yeah, they're joining us on the couch this morning to talk about not only the upcoming golf tournament, but some other events that you have in store. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Jacob is playing in the tournament tomorrow. As you saw, Tiffany and I are not ready to take on that <laughs> challenge quite yet. We'll be volunteering. <laughs> yes. Um, but what can you tell us about the event tomorrow? Well, the event tomorrow, we have uh, 30 teams that are coming. Uh, these are corporate teams that are going to be basically playing. Uh, we asked for a donation of $3,000 per team, so it's a, quite a commitment on the part of the uh, corporate community to support us. Uh, but it's also part of a package deal that we have leading up to our DAV 5K road race. So tomorrow starts our major fundraising program from now up into Veterans Day. And uh, uh, the biggest one being the DAV 5K road race, which as you all know, um, Lisa Hughes actually started mm -hmm. our very first road race. Uh, she was there when 20 people showed up um, at the Boston Common. And today we later on, I mean, now we sell out the thing at uh, Castle Island, Fort Independence. We have over 2,000 runners and it makes my heart feel good because Lisa is still running in it, and she's uh, been very, very supportive of us all these years. Yeah, WBZ is proud partners with the yeah. DAV. Lisa MCs it. I'm there broadcasting live. If you haven't done so, you should check out the DAV's website to register. Do we still have slots open? We do have some slots open. We do sell out quickly, so yeah. if you're looking to join us that day, I'd suggest you get on there quick <laughs> and register as fast as possible. If you don't mind, one of the things that <clears throat> tomorrow's uh, kind of a sad day, too, in the fact that uh, we're very excited about the golf tournament, but our patriarch, who really did kind of establish the golf tournament and the DAV run, which became the DAV 5K, was Lou Pasquale. And Lou was a 96-year-old World War II veteran uh, that really helped us a great deal, and he'll be missed tomorrow. But if anybody wants to contribute to the DAV and they want to go on to the DAV 5K Boston, go to Team Louie. And we've created a team in his name, and he's had the team ever since we started, and he's always one of the largest kind of fundraisers, but you could help by uh, honoring him uh, and all that he gave back to the veteran community throughout his lifetime by joining Team Louie. And these events are so meaningful. Can you talk about really quickly um, how these fundraising dollars really get put to use to help veterans? In the Department of Massachusetts, because we've had such great corporate sponsors, they cover all the cost of the events. So every dollar that comes in from the uh, general public um, is then spent on actually service to veterans. And in Massachusetts, we have our DAV transportation program that we do it. We have department service officers at every VA medical center uh, that actually help in getting claims established for veterans. We also have our, uh, basically, our housing program out in the Gardner, central Massachusetts area. So all that we raise goes right into those particular uh, programs.